Hey, it's Josh here. In this video, I'm gonna explain where you should put your custom CSS in Divi. This is part four of my beginner tutorial series. And up to this point, we talked about how to install and set up WordPress. I gave you an overview of WordPress. And then in the last video, we talked about what a Divi child theme is, because now at this point, you know that Divi is my theme of choice for WordPress. But the question is, once you wanna start really customizing it with custom code, where does that code go? It can be very confusing and you'll find out with Divi, there's about 378 options as far as where you can put your code. So I'm gonna let you know where it should go and some options available to you. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, friends, so as you get going with WordPress and Divi, you're gonna find out pretty quickly that while Divi does give us the ability to do things visually with the Divi Builder, there are a lot of circumstances and you're gonna find out pretty quickly that you've got to know at least the basics and have a good foundational understanding of CSS to really customize your sites. And in this video, I'm gonna explain where you actually wanna put that CSS. And you'll actually find like, if you go to my site, I have a ton of tutorials on Divi, most of which are CSS related. That's why I wanted to do this video so you know where to put that CSS. But it's just really, really important. And once you get to a point where you need to start customizing your site, whether it's a need for your site or you're working for clients and they ask you to do things that are again outside of the template options and theme options for Divi, you gotta know CSS. Like these icons here, for example, are CSS in my menu. And this is why I was so passionate about putting together my Divi CSS course. So just remember, I have a whole course on Divi and CSS. If you're ready to take the next level, check out the link below. There's also a discount code for you. And I would love to help guide you to knowing CSS. It's also really important when you're adding other plugins and tools because they may be styled completely differently and CSS is the best way to customize those. So it's gonna save you a lot of time in the long run. But back to the main question, where do I put my custom CSS? Well, there's about, what did I say in the answer? Like 370 some ways, it's, it's not exaggerating too far. If we enable the visual builder and we just start building from scratch with Divi, Let's add a column and let's just add a text module. You're gonna see here, and again, this isn't a Divi tutorial per se, that's why I have my beginner's course, but in each one of these sections, rows and modules with Divi, there's gonna be an option under advanced for custom CSS. So your custom CSS can go here. It can not only go in the main elements, but it can also go in what's called the before and after elements, which I explain more in my course as well. And if we look at the row, we go into the settings, same thing. There's custom CSS that we can put in here. This also gives us the ability to add classes, which you're gonna see not only in detail in my course, but in a lot of my tutorials. And if we look at the module, each module will have options to put CSS in there as well. So you can literally put CSS right there in a number of different ways. And if we wanna get really wild, you can technically put CSS in the back of, your, of the text side of your modules as well. So those are just a few spots that you can already put CSS in Divi. Now we're, we're in the visual builder. And if we look at this, if I pop that open and go under settings, look at this under advanced, I can put custom CSS on the settings for this page alone. So that's another place you can put CSS. And then more commonly, if we go to the dashboard, let's go ahead and save and exit. If we go to the dashboard here on our site, if we go under Divi and theme options, you're gonna see a spot where on the bottom, there's another place for custom CSS. Now, the last video I talked about what a Divi child theme is and, and how to set that up, and I gave you a free download, and the reason I wanted to do that first before showing you this is you actually wanna put your CSS there. Ideally, you wanna put your CSS in the theme editor. So let's take a look at that again. As I mentioned in the previous video, any CSS should go right here. Now, if you're not using a child theme or for some reason you want to just add things quickly to a site, there's nothing wrong with doing it right here under the custom CSS section. This will this will overwrite technically, and I talk about this in my CSS course because understanding the hierarchy of coding is really important as well. Uh, but anything you put over here is gonna overwrite this and it's gonna take effect on your site. So again, it's recommended that you put all of your code here, but if you're in a pinch or if you just wanna try something, you can always put it in here as well. So a lot of tutorials you'll see online will have CSS placed there. Now again, uh, a couple other areas you might see where you can put CSS and Divi is if we go to the theme customizer 
In my beginner's course, I show you how to use this, but you can actually set up a lot of the general settings of your Divi site here. And look at that, additional CSS there too. Now, if we put something here, if we were to put um, any CSS here, let's just do, let me just put test right here. So if, and we're, this isn't a CSS tutorial, so I know it's probably scary, but anything you put in here, as far as Divi goes, watch this. That was in the theme customizer. If I go down here under theme options, hey, what I just wrote out there is under here. So that's actually the same section. It's just in different places of the website. Uh, but those are basically all the places you can put custom CSS. Now, are there times where you ever wanna put CSS directly in a module? Sometimes, every once in a while I'll do that. But more often than not, I like to put it either in the custom CSS or ideally in the child theme style sheet right here. So that's where you wanna put your custom CSS. We talked about how to set the child theme up and I gave you a free download for this so you can start writing everything in here. And then in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to connect to this directly through your host, through FTP. And really quickly, if we just wanna take a look at practically how this works, let's say something out of the gate in Divi, um, like the Divi theme options don't do it and you need to customize it. For example, this little line, the menu in Divi often has, uh, or always is gonna have that little line right there Let's say your client's like, hey, I really don't like that, um, that line right there. So what we can do, and I have a tutorial on how to use inspect element that I'll link to. What we can do is find that element, and then I can see that, in short, this has uh, the main header, has an ID that's called main header. And look at that, there is a little box shadow right there with that line. Now, if I adjust this, and let's take that line out, there we go, zero, what I can do is take this whole class, now that I see that looks good on the front end, I can go into my style sheet, I can place it in there, and I'm just gonna take everything out that I don't need to know, or don't that I didn't affect, that I didn't adjust, that we don't need, and I'm just going to adjust uh, the different browser extensions. I talk about this more in my CSS course as well, but let's update that. And now, when we go back out to our site, let's refresh, it's still gonna show because we haven't cleared our cache, but watch this, let's make sure that's saved. Okay, file edited successfully. Let's purge the cache. Do a nice hard refresh on the browser. Adios line, there we go. So that's just a really quick practical example of how you may want to adjust CSS and where to put it. Again, I could put this down here in theme options under custom CSS but ideally it's gonna go in your style sheet directly. So there you go, guys. There's the overview of where to put your custom CSS. There's no harm in putting things in the CSS sections, uh, in your sections, rows, or modules with Divi. Every once in a while, me and my team will have a situation where we need to edit certain things on just that page. And in that case, you can go under the page settings, under advanced and do it here. But more often than not, gonna wanna put global CSS things here in your style sheet ideally again, in your child theme style sheet. So make sure you visit part three of this tutorial series to download your free child theme style sheet. All right, guys, there you go. I'll see you in the next one where we'll talk about how to access this directly. Fun stuff.